The Angora rabbit is one of the oldest types of domestic rabbit. It is bred mainly for its fur, which consists of long fibers known as Angora wool, which are obtained by shearing, combing, or plucking. Angora wool is important as it does not possess the same allergy causing qualities as many other animals, and as such, their wool and clothes made from it serves as an important alternative. There are 11 distinct breeds of Angora rabbit. English, French, Giant, Satin, and German Angora are typically the most talked about here in North America, but other types do include the Chinese, Finnish, Japanese, Korean, Russian, St. Lucian, and Swiss. Angora rabbits are said to have originated in what's known as present-day Turkey and were brought to France in 1723. The Angora rabbit became a popular pet of French royalty in the mid-18th century and spread to other parts of Europe by the end of the century. Clothing made from Angora wool has been popular since their first arrival in the United States in the early 20th century, but only during World War II did domestic production expand to meet the demand, which was about 120,000 pounds per year. Speaking of their wool, Angoras are bred mainly for wool which is described as silky and soft. It's about 15 micrometers in diameter and is as soft, if not softer than cashmere, in fineness and to the touch. The wool grows about three centimeters or one inch per month and regular grooming of the rabbits is needed to prevent matting. Matting will cause discomfort to the rabbit and can lead to infection. The wool is harvested every three or four months throughout the year. A few other common issues these rabbits can run into is wool blocking and wool mites. Wool blocking occurs due to the abundance of hair and is potentially lethal. It is a blockage of the digestive tract. Like many other animals, all rabbits ingest some of their wool during grooming. However, their digestive system is not able to pass the foreign matter. The length of the hair compounds the risk of impaction, which can often lead to death. Proper clipping or plucking of the wool every three to four months is absolutely necessary to prevent a wool block. Wool mites is a common skin parasite found in Angora rabbits. Flaky skin and fur loss are signs of infection. Wool mites will reduce fiber yields. The mites may be treated with infirmancy. A brief rundown of the most common Angora types. The English Angora rabbit is a common breed as a pet due to the facial features that give it a puppy or teddy bear look. It is also one of the smallest Angora rabbit breeds. They weigh between 4.5 and 7.2 pounds. They are gentle but require heavy grooming. The French Angora has a dense undercoat, but with the right texture will require less maintenance than other Angora breeds. This breed is one of the larger breeds, weighing between 7.7 .7 and 9.9 .9 pounds. It differs from the English Angora in that it has a clean, that is hairless, face and front feet. The fiber is described as smooth and silky. The giant Angora is not surprisingly the largest recognized Angora breed. This breed was developed to be an efficient commercial producer that could be sustained on 16 to 18% protein pellets and hay, 
and live in standard all-wire cages. The giant angora produces more wool than the French, satin, or English angora rabbits. The hair should be medium fine, soft, and waved with a gentle shine. This giant breed grows slow. A doe usually takes a year to reach maturity, and bucks can take 1.5 years. The satin angora was developed in the late 1970s in Ontario, Canada by crossing French angoras with rabbits of the satin breed. In addition to sheen, for which satin is known, true red and copper pigments appear in these new rabbits. The satin angora is like the French angora in that it has no furnishings on the face, ears, or feet. This angora does not produce as much wool as other breeds, but this has been improved through selective breeding. Angora rabbits are wonderful rabbits to keep. They are beautiful and unique looking rabbits. They can be kept for fiber for profit or just as pets. Though as pets, they require a high amount of maintenance, they are a joy to touch, which makes that grooming process all the more enjoyable. They are known to be friendly and cuddly, even with the family cat. However, they are also known not to enjoy being picked up. If you are content with this, and to let this amazing creature love you on its own terms, it might just be the perfect rabbit for you.